Hi. So I also got asked how I made my um, awesome feathery headdress, uh, which I did from scratch. Uh, so the first thing was I had some leftover ostrich fans. They were actually uh, feathers, rather. They were from a, a set of feather fans that I made. Um, they were originally a white color, but I got just a box dye from Spotlight and um, I dyed some purple, I don't know if you can see that color very well, and some uh, black, which is there. It actually kind of looks purple anyway. Um, and I, I, I dried them very carefully. I actually used a hair, <laughs> hair dryer on a, on a low setting um, to make sure they were fluffy. And I also um, used a pair of scissors on the spine. I scraped the spine like you would uh, curling ribbon just to give it that little curl over like that. I got some, these are um, sword feathers from a peacock. Uh, they come straight. I did the same trick, the curling ribbon trick, and made those nice and round. This here is actually a pad of um, peacock feathers. You can find that at craft stores. Uh, this was just a little thing I had lying. I think I got it at Spotlight a couple of years ago. They have similar stuff. Um, so that's how I did the feathers, and I just arranged them the way I liked. I sort of had a plan. I did um, draw it all up first. Um, as for this here, um, that's an applique I bought on eBay. Um, it was a plain lace one. I added the beading and the sequins and also the um, rhinestones which really transformed it. As for the, which I'm sure is what you're really wondering about, as for the hat bit, this is a, um, a thermal activated uh, like it's like a molding sheet. Um, I'll, I'll find out the name of it and I'll I'll let you guys know, but um, what I did was uh, I got a, a bonnet pattern, like a, an old-fashioned bonnet, uh, because obviously your head is curved and trying to use a straight piece isn't going to work. So this is actually three pieces um, from a medieval bonnet pattern, um, and then I joined them together because it will stick to itself. When it is heated, I used a heat gun, but I have heard that you can use a hairdryer if you're quite patient. Um, and then I heated it all up, and I put it on my head. I sat it on my head, and I molded it around my ears, which is why these bits are a little bit funny. Oh, you can't see it on the other side. Um, and then I got some spray adhesive, uh, and. It's important with spray adhesive, you have to spray the uh, both sides, otherwise it is a temporary stick and not a permanent glue down. So I sprayed both sides outside, got it over everything, and it was quite messy, <laughs> and it's still a little bit sticky inside, so make sure you clean it off properly. And I stuck down the glue. It was, it, as you can see, it's not the neatest inside, but nobody's going to see that. You just need to, and there's a couple of spots where it's a little bit creased, but I'm not an expert milner. Um, and then I hand stitched this on afterwards, hot glued the feathers on, which I had sort of hot glued to each other first. And I just make sure when you are putting your feathers on, they need to be staggered, otherwise they're all kind of going to bulk up down the bottom and they're also going to not have that multi-leveled look that you get here so yeah and just a couple um i wanted it mostly going sort of that way but you do need a couple coming this way just as a contrast otherwise you just sort of look like you're being blown away by the wind or something yeah and that's how i made that it's really easy it's just um a little bit of time a little bit of patience and a little bit of imagination all right um yeah i'll make sure to find out the name of that stuff and i'll and i'll let you guys know. And that's it. That's all I did. All right. Bye.